Hey guys, GCC Maths and English are the important ones. They are the big ones that you have to reset if you don't pass them. Um, so I know this is really, really going to be where loads of your vision is focused. So here are a few last minute tips to help you with your maths exams. The first thing is do as much practice as you can. Maths is like a, a nice subject to revise for. But it's also a slightly boring subject to revise for because loads of other subjects you can mix it up and do loads and loads of different things. Math, there's one way to revise for it and that is doing as many questions as you can. Whether they are the multiple choice questions which are up on my website for you, whether they're workbook questions, whether they're questions in papers, it's just doing math questions, math questions, math questions, math questions. Um, whereas you know for like history, you can draw some mind maps, you can't really draw mind maps for maths or if you have, I would love to see your maths mind maps. Maths practice and maths revision is just doing as many questions as you can. So like I said, to help you with this, I've got loads, like thousands of multiple choice questions on my website and you can access them on your phone, just click through um, and do the multiple choice questions in your own time, on the bus, whenever you feel like it really. Like zero pressure, nobody can check what you're doing, your teachers, your parents can't check up on you for anything. And you can just take your time and do these questions. And those are good because they focus on one subject. But in the exam, you're not going to have a test on just one subject. It's all going to be mixed up as well. Which is where, you know, multiple choice questions, web questions are good for practicing one subject. But a really, really great way to revise is by mixing things up and doing one subject, one subject, one subject, one subject. Which is where practice, past and predicted papers are really going to come in useful. Now there are four sets of papers for you to download from my website. There are also um, past papers available on the exam board's website. And the great thing about GCSE Maths is that the specification between exam boards are so, so, so similar. So if you're doing AQA for Maths, go to the LXL website and do the LXL papers or do the OCR papers. Um, Math is one of those great subjects where there are so many papers out there available for you to do um, because it really, really is the best way to revise just doing as many papers as you can. Content wise, it's really hard to predict what is going to come up in paper one versus paper two versus paper three because you need to know all of the content for all of the papers. We can generally say that everything's going to come up at least once, so we can expect circle theorem, working out tangents, to come up probably once. You know, occasionally it might be left off, but it's not as if there's going to be a big topic that came up last year, so we can say it's not going to come up this year. We can't really say that with maths, so you need to revise everything. Sorry. I know that's not really what you wanted me to say. But what you can do, after you've done paper one and after you've done paper two, you can think, oh, the big question was on this topic on this topic, what big topic hasn't come up? And that will probably come up on paper three. Obviously there's no guarantees, they're not gonna ask the same topic on paper one, paper two, and paper three. But if you notice something that definitely hasn't come up in the first two papers, then you can expect it to come up in paper three. So it'll be really, really good if like on my videos or wherever you just like start making like a group list of what topics came up on what paper and then by the time paper three comes out we can try and predict what to focus on for paper three. Math is one of the rare subjects we can actually do that for at GCSE. Um, so good luck guys, um, I've been working really hard to get as many like videos and questions up for you as possible so I've been getting loads of videos up, loads of multiple choice questions up for my uh, website, four papers, four sets of papers, so 12 in total for you to download from my website. Um, and yeah, I mean, I love you guys but hopefully you won't be watching this video next, this time next year. Fingers crossed. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.